welcome back to my film and TV channel. We're all stay safe and we'll be a shorter one today because there's not many critics or reviews out there. So I'll tell you what we've got on this one because it's set brand new on Channel 4 and all four. Yes, we're going to look at something, yes, that I found uh, quite enjoyable. Well, not everyone did so uh, for obvious reasons when I tell you about it. This is called Everyone Else Burns. Great title, fantastic title. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Be great to have you on board. Uh, spread the word, all film, TV, drama reviews, comedy reviews. This is a comedy, uh, information, vlogs, and uh, quizzes. You know, we try and do it, and your support is very welcome. And if you, if you are pressing buttons, or you've already pressed that button, if you can press that little like button. I'm trying to get at least 10 or 15 likes on these film and TV vlogs, so I will be much appreciated if you can do that for me. Yes, Everyone Else Burns, Channel 4 Comedy, 6 by 24, 25 minute episodes, so binge watched by me in, what, space of just under two and a half hours uh, one afternoon, so that'll do for me. All episodes are now available on all four, and it was released, uh, I think you saw the first two parts on Channel 4 on the 23rd of January 2023, and of course it's now weekly for the next four weeks, so if you're willing to wait and you're patient, unlike me, uh, there you go. Yes, uh, reviews. This review is at the 24th of January 2023, after literally five minutes after just watching it. I've done most of the script based on the first four or five episodes. There wasn't much to, to add to that over the last uh, episode or two. And the scores. Well, the only scores we've got at the moment are Joe Public on Internet Movie Database, and just 56 scores have been left, so not a lot. And it's averaging, though, 7 out of 10, so that's fair enough, with a 70% positivity, which is, again, fair enough. There's a few 10 out of 10s, the odd 1 out of 10, so I've, I've sort of balanced the figures up, and we still end up with a 70% positivity. Well, what's it about? Well, the Lewises are a typical nuclear family. David, played by Simon Bird, works in the sorting office, organising parcels and diverting letters. Fiona, played by Kate O'Flynn, is his stay-at-home wife, though she's thinking about starting a business of her own. Their youngest son, Aaron, played by Harry Connor, likes to draw. It's a distraction from the bullying. And their oldest daughter, Rachel, played by Amy James Kelly, is starting to think about going to university, maybe to study medicine. Uh, the only thing, yeah, all normal, all normal stuff, as you'd expect. The only thing that sets them apart from any other family, really, is their unwavering conviction that the apocalypse is nigh and the world is about to end. There we go. This is directed by Nick Collette and... Produced by Molly Seymour and written by Dylan Maple Toft and Oliver Taylor. I think these two are, are new writers to this uh, genre or new writers to Channel 4. It also stars uh, Lolly Adafop, uh, Arshi Ali, Kath Hughes, Ali Khan, Ka Cardiff Kerwin, Morgana Robinson, and Liam Williams, and a few others as well. So, some familiar faces, some not so familiar faces. And yes, my score, I'm going to give you my score because there's no critics, there's no Rotten Tomatoes, there's no meta score, uh, there's nothing really for anywhere else at the moment because it's brand new and it's British, which so we don't get a lot. Dom Robinson quite likes it, he's only watched a couple of episodes, uh, you know Dom, uh, I do quote him, he's from DVD Fever website, he's usually a bit of a misery sometimes, but uh, yeah, he quite liked this, so it all bodes well. I'm going to give this a score of, yes, yeah, 7 out of 10 because I really liked it. It's a great mix of UK. There may be a bit of Irish talent in this, I can never tell, but certainly a good mix of British talent uh, with many familiar faces. One or two weak actors in it, mainly certainly one or two of the younger younger actors in this, but uh, yeah, you sort of get past that. A lot, a lot of the, the sort of more established comedy actors do a great job. And Channel 4 has brought us another half-decent comedy, and that's what this is. It's quirky. Of course it is. It's uh, made me smile many times. Some enjoyable family dynamics as well in this. So you get a little bit of drama, as you would expect, amidst this sort of... Uh, tongue-in-cheek humour. What's great for me are the sort of investable character. You know, I like to invest in characters if you watch my blogs. And the, most of them are a pleasure to watch in their own independent subplots or when they're mixing with each other. Uh, the only downside, and why it's got a few low scores for me, is that it does tackle religion. It's, it's, it's obviously, people have mentioned uh, uh, 
people like the Jehovah's Witnesses, etc. As being honest, doesn't state that claim itself. But obviously, it's getting a lot of grief uh, from from uh, people who take the religion a little bit, let's say, a little bit more seriously than I do, and many other people do. And as I suspect, there's a lot of whinges about it about what's being portrayed in this. But uh, yes, uh, for me, they can go to hell. Yes, I enjoyed it. I thought it was excellent, daft, fun entertainment. Thank you, Channel Four. And you certainly brightened up a well, uh, an okay afternoon, a dull afternoon, let's say, uh, here in here in Altrincham, Cheshire. And uh, yeah, very very good. Let me know what you think, guys. It'd be great to hear from you if you are religious. Uh, my apologies, but I'm not. And yeah, I enjoyed this for what it is. And uh, there are some. What's the word? Yeah, there are some positives uh, from the religious side in this. It's got some nice things. Uh, it's not. It's not. Not all a critique or, or taking the mick. Uh, there's some positivity as well. But as I said, uh, some people will take it take it as they want, won't they? Or view it as they want. But uh, for me, good entertainment. Thanks for watching. Please until we meet again. I ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.